IB signal and IB signal defective. On double line, lengthy block section between two stations is divided into two portions, namely axle counter section and IB section by placing an intermediate block signal. Two sets of axle counters are provided one after the last stop signal of the station and another at 400 meters after IB signal and this portion is known as axle counter section. It is controlled by last stop signal of the station and interlocked with axle counters. 400 meters after IB signal up to first stop signal of the next station in advance is called IB section and is controlled by IB signal which is interlocked with block instruments. Intermediate block signal is identified by IB marker board. It also has a provision of phone to communicate with station master in rear. Indicators are available for the station master on the panel indicating whether axle counter section is free indicated by green or axle counter section is occupied indicated by red. Seeing free indication of axle counter section, station master operates last stop signal to off position. Seeing off position, loco pilot enters the axle counter section. When train passes last stop signal, K2 indication with buzzer is shown on the panel. Station master normalizes last stop signal to on position and the buzzer stops. Axle counter section indication shows red on the panel. Until axle counter indication is shown occupied, last stop signal cannot be taken off. Station master who has to dispatch train takes line clear from advance station. Advance station master operates block instrument and puts in line clear position. Seeing line clear position of TGT dial of the block instrument, station master operates IB signal to off position. Noticing IB signal in off position, loco pilot will pass the IB signal. When train passes IB signal in off position, station master in rear gets K3 indication with buzzer. Station master puts IB signal to on position and buzzer stops. Station master informs advance station about departure of train. Advance station master will operate block instrument to TOL position and Arrange to receive the train by taking off home signal. When the complete train clears axle counter section, it is indicated in the panel by showing axle counter section free indicated by green. Station master of the station on seeing axle counter section free can dispatch one more train in this section by taking off last stop signal after obtaining permission from advance station.
IB signal defective. IB signal is deemed to be treated as defective when last stop signal of station is defective or block instrument is defective or axle counters or track circuits failed or IB distant failed in off position. Whenever IB signal is treated as defective, station master shall suspend IBS working and treat both axle counter section and IB section as one section. In case IB signal is interlocked with any gate, it shall be treated as non-interlock gate and exchange private number with the gate man before obtaining or granting line clear. Station master will take line clear from advanced station and issue written authority PLCT T bar C 1425 for up trains T bar D 1425 for down trains for passing last stop signal at on position and T.3693 B for passing IB signal at on position. When a loco pilot finds an IB signal in on position, he shall stop his train in rear of it and contact the station master of the station in rear on the telephone provided on the signal post. Station master shall authorize the loco pilot to pass the IB signal at on by giving the loco pilot a private number after ensuring that line clear has been obtained for the train from the station in advance. The private number given to the loco pilot shall be the same private number that has been obtained from the station in advance for line clear. The loco pilot shall record this private number in his memo book and proceed with normal speed. In case, after stopping at IB signal, if the telephone is out of order, the loco pilot shall wait for 5 minutes at the signal and pass it in the on position and proceed cautiously at a speed not exceeding 15 kilometers per hour when the view ahead is clear and at a speed not exceeding 8 kilometers per hour when the view ahead is not clear. He shall proceed at 15 kilometers per hour or 8 kilometers per hour as the case may be up to the first stop signal of the station in advance even if the intervening signals, if any, display off aspect. The loco pilot shall act upon the aspect of the first stop signal of the station in advance only after he has reached the first stop signal. 
the loco pilot must report the failure to the station master at the block station in advance when loco pilot passes the ib signal rear station master will get k1 buzzer and if there is another train in ib section he shall inform the loco pilot through traction power controller gate man if gate is available or communicate to loco pilot of adjacent line through caution order